Hello, hello! Hey, Burst Team Boo, welcome to the stream. So let's uh, let's get this uh, Roblox started. Do I have a Roblox scene? I do. Okay. Well, let's uh, get the game open. And apparently, uh, okay, there we go. We've got it captured. Okay, so, what what are these emotes? Cheeky high and cheeky love. Hmm, cool emotes. So, uh, what is this game? This is a game called Cosmos. And I don't have any other ships unlocked. Excuse me? Huh, what's going on here? Well, let's just go with the Sidewinder then. So, this game is, a. Uh, Kind of like an FTL style adventure. Basically, you're in a ship, you've got various systems that you have to maintain, and uh, you go from place to place and try not to die. So, here are the weapons we have to start with in this uh, thing. Oh, cool, we get, an, uh, we get a thing already. We get a response bolt, moves doubles quickly, and on impact. Uh, instantly charges this weapon by 16 seconds. That could be good. One shot. Uh, deals two damage to systems, two damage, to, or three damage to hull, and uh, takes two uh, power. That's what all these mean. So we've got cost, or project number of projectiles, time, uh, how much uh, energy, I guess, power it requires. Uh, how many uh, system damage it does and how much hull damage it does. <clears throat> and since we don't have a fourth weapon, literally no reason to not install it there. And uh, let's get rid of our... I don't like to use uh, missile weapons early, early on. Can we... Uh... Yes, we can. Missiles are very important to save. So uh, here we have a thing to fight. Um, okay, well, while those things are charging up, let's, uh, just fire our double laser, or this thing at its, uh, weapons. We'll save the agility laser until the response bolt is, uh, more charged up. Let's just overshield for a little bit. Uh, where's, okay, here, let's, uh, fire you at that, then you at that. Except this didn't fire. Good, because I hit the wrong weapon. And then we took a lot of damage. Um, we might be in trouble. <clears throat> I haven't played this in quite a while. Okay, uh, we need to just we need to just set this to auto fire. Yeah, we're we're kind of dead. <clears throat> so uh, our the red system red dots are systems that are kind of broken. Let's just... Overshield. 
Overshield is basically, you cannot be hit. Also, why is this thing... None of my weapons are set to auto-fire. Mistakes have been made. <clears throat> okay, you know what? Let's just restart. We, we, we've lost. And I don't actually think that restarts anything. So, meanwhile, let's explain what each of the systems done. Also, Roblox is a bit on the loud side. So, weapons, shields, engines, which is your dodge chance, uh, piloting, uh, which increases, like, accuracy or something, it's all right here. Uh, so, allows you power additional weapons, additional layers of seal, shield, increase dodge chance, increase weapon accuracy and dodge chance, increase shield charge rate and repair speed, and makes venom, or just your specialized skill, recharge faster per system level. Speaking of which, we can do some hacking. Which, uh... Does stuff. It tells us what weapons uh, they are using. And some other non-essential stuff. Anyway, this is the, uh, pu the uh, private beta testing server anyway. <clears throat> now let's uh, try this again, because I got completely destroyed. Also... I'm pretty sure there are supposed to be more ships. Don't know why I can't choose them, but whatever. Also, let's center this. And this time, let's uh, set things to auto-fire. I believe uh, they added boarding recently. This button right here. Anyway, uh, let's, uh, they've got no shields, so let's just focus entirely on their weapons. Get them out of here. Meanwhile, let's, uh, do some hacking. So we can know when they're about to fire their weapons. Like that. And we immediately take a hit. But their stuff is completely broken now. Or is that, what, what's going on? What are, what are all these new buttons? Panic. Oh, weapons. <clears throat> Apparently boarding is now a thing. So you can, like, board their ship. Personally, I was against it, and so was the creator, but a lot of other people wanted to, uh... Wanted boarding to be a feature, so... It is. Okay. <clears throat> uh... Okay, that could be useful. So basically, uh, it's kind of like a defensive weapon. If I fire, I can uh, dodge instantly for five seconds. Oh no, a pirate has appeared. And again, they don't have shields. Now, they do have one level in their shields, however, uh, uh, I, I unpowered the wrong thing. Basically, how shields work is for every two la levels in shield, you get one shield layer. And we took a hit to our piloting. Anyway, the first little bit is kind of rough until you, uh, get more, like, stuff and weapons. <clears throat> uh, they don't have any, uh, in their specialized skill, which is good, because their specialized skill is kind of strong. Basically, the pirate's specialized skill is, a uh, cannonball, and I believe, uh, it, it's a new thing. I believe what it does is, uh, it pierces all shields and does, like, 
one damage to all systems or something? I don't know. <clears throat> anyway, let's just fire something, and uh, they're done. So I forget what our uh, Venom does, which is our uh, specialized skill for this ship. Uh, all of your weapons, perfect accuracy and additional hull damage for a short amount of time. That's pretty good. Healthy supply of metal and fuel. Well, let's, uh, let's open it and probably get destroyed. Nope. Okay, now what can we uh, upgrade? Additional layers of shield are always important early on. So let's uh, let's get shields. And we really don't need a uh, medbay. Medbay isn't a very important skill. Actually, it increases shield charge rate. We don't need a uh, venom. Oh uh, yeah, I'm used to the uh, older server. The older version. In the old version, Pilotina increased how fast your weapons charged, and Medbay did not help with shields at all. There are also quite a lot of other changes. That's the uh, public version I'm describing. Okay, these guys have a lot of shields. <clears throat> Meanwhile, let's uh, get rid of their shields immediately. shield for safety. Fire that at the weapons. Okay, they're about to fire that thing. Fortunately, we've got uh, two shield layers. Okay, we need to uh, start attacking their weaponry now. So what is a double laser? Double laser fires two shots that are basic. Agility laser increases your dodge chance by 20 seconds. It's one shot, though. So what should ha happen is, uh... Agility laser should target shields. Double laser should target weaponry. Maybe. I don't know. Either way, it's, uh, dead. Dead and done for. So there are shops you can buy stuff in. Shops are really useful. By the way, there's a, an invisible platform you can stand here. It's just the center of the ship. And it's a thing. Because, I don't know. Something about models, I don't know. Uh, collapse missile. To the adjacent systems. Costs three missiles to fire. I don't like the sound of that thing. Exit attack deals one more. Hmm. Ravens don't fire... Don't miss, okay, for the next eight seconds. That could be useful, but again, missile weapons, y missile weapons are really good, but... Because missiles pierce all shields. I'll come back for this th later. Meanwhile, let's uh, go see what's in some of the other shops. And we'll probably, in all likelihood, need missiles for uh, the boss. So yeah, there is a boss of this area, and uh, it's quite a beast. In the uh, old version of the server, it's quite a lot easier, in all, like, in all honesty. Okay, we should be good. Let's do some hacking. Actually, let's do some boarding. Let's uh, see how this works. Answer, it doesn't. What? Oh, uh, can... Wait, I think I recall you not... No, wait, you can board here. What? 
What is this? And why is there more fog than the fog? What? What is this doing in my... What is this game? Suddenly this turned into a first-person shooter. Oh, okay. I, I have ammo. I, I can't say I approve of this. Well, I'm out of ammo. Oh, no, I, uh... Okay then. Oh no, I ha I has died. Yeah, I can't say I, I think that's a, a good addition to the game. Meanwhile, back to uh pressing buttons. I mean, it's really only meant for a uh, larger uh, cruise, but in this it's like we interrupt your uh, regular uh, Cosmos to bring you a first-person shooter because there aren't enough of those apparently There, there might be too many first-person shooters in the world The only first-person shooter I'm a fan of is portal and that doesn't count And portal 2 obviously uh, Absorb Deals two whole damage to your target Impact restores Okay, then so I want to hit shields with this weapon that's just weird. That just targets random systems, but fires three, uh, three, three are good. Or a military double laser, no damage systems, heavy damage to hull. I like being able to, uh, get rid of the systems. Meanwhile, let's just repair all. I don't have much money, much metal though. Yeah, we got metal fuel and missiles. I might go for one of those. Who knows? Let's see what's in this shop. In the old version, you could uh, sell uh, fuel and missiles back for metal. In this version, it's not implemented yet. This is still a very unfinished version. Quadruple laser. I want that. Instantly charge up weapon one by five seconds, which is my hmm. If I put this in weapon one, that's essentially uh, eleven seconds, but it's only that really isn't that good. Quadruple laser. <clears throat> Quadruple laser is good though. It really is. The more projectiles, the better, because they shred through shields. So I'll probably go for that quadruple laser as opposed to the dexterity. Cause we need the uh we need missiles. We really do. We have a battle. Meanwhile, we interrupt your regular program for another first person shooter. Let's just try this again. Because this game is. It really doesn't belong. Like, I'm, I'm sorry. I really don't approve of, of this sort of thing. Okay, so uh, we can't go left or right. So basically, we just blast down the blast door. It's even behind this blast door. And why does it take, like, 17,000 hits? Also, 89928. Also, suddenly there were a million people. And they, they killed me. We interrupt your regular uh, first-person shooter to bring you Cosmos, an FTL-style adventure. Let's, uh, let's try this again, shall we? Now, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, destroying them. 
Oh yeah, that's the old augments button. That's what that is. Elena Jones. Nice! They're, they have one person on the crew manifest, and yet there were three people there. That makes sense. Meanwhile, a ship has powered up its weapons to attack. Oh no. That's basically this game in a nutshell. Oh dear. They, uh, they sure have a lot of weapons. This is maybe an issue. Let's do a little bit of overshield. And, uh... Okay, we only have one thing ready to fire, but we've got two shield layers so we won't take damage. <clears throat> I'm a liar, apparently. Um, oh, they've got cannon. They have a cannon. Cannon bad. We need to take out the cannon. Take out the cannon. Our shields can deal with the uh, other thing. We need to get that cannon out of here. is done done like dinner which is a dumb thing to say yet people say it anyway okay we're good only took a little bit of damage I uh, definitely not to uh, repair this though this is about weapon accuracy Meanwhile, let's just repair Venom, because why not? We aren't using it, but we might as well repair it. Anyway. What are we doing? Um, I don't like the, uh, I don't like what that specialized weapon system is. I don't know what it is. Let's just do that while I hack. Meanwhile, this thing can do that. Okay, we got rid of their specialized system, whatever it was. Shield that. Uh, just fire at their shields, I guess. Take a pot shot at him. <clears throat> yeah, we definitely need more projectiles. This de this dexterity needs to go. Projectiles equal good. Now, oh, what's this weapon? Sniper laser. Pierce two and moves double as quickly and never misses. Well, isn't this thing powerful? Yeah, I want this. Pierces two layers of shield, never misses. It's got a long cooldown, but that does a lot of... That does a lot of uh, hull damage, also. Let's get rid of the uh, dexterity. So, if I want to use that, I need to get rid of... I need to unpower the agility laser. Let's do that. This thing is a beast. 
Okay, I guess we won't go for the uh, quadruple laser. That thing will uh, definitely uh, help considerably with the um, boss fight. With that pierce. Okay, you... You just go for a uh, specialized. You take out that. Hey, uh, Faker, welcome to the stream. Meanwhile, the sniper laser is, uh, what's it going to do? Yeah, it's just going to annihilate them. That is such a good weapon. Gotta love finding free weapons. Meanwhile, uh, now that that's out of the way, uh, we should start upgrading our ship. Shields are always a priority. Um, but we've got two layers, so we're kind of good for now. Okay, these guys have quite a lot of weaponry. Let's, uh, let's do something about that. Crud. This is bad. Okay, well, they're, they're done, but we took quite a bit of damage. That's okay, because, uh, well, we can just repair the damage at, at your local grocer. Grocer. <laughs> um, oh yeah, this, uh, I believe it's best to defend the station for this event. Hopefully the pirates aren't, uh, too deadly. Meanwhile, we've got some time to upgrade some stuff before the event starts. We can start immediately, but instead, um... Honestly, let's uh, get more reactor power. Reactor power is good. Let's just power up Venom. Okay, this guy. Well, you can go for that. You can go for their specialized system. Meanwhile, let's do some hacking. Yeah, you forgot that, uh, it's best to hack while you, uh, are looking at their lasers so you can overshield. Meanwhile, we know what their weapons are, and their weapons are disabled. Oh, that double laser missed that cannon. I don't like that. Let's get that cannon out of here. Eight hull damage is an absurdly large amount. It really is. Um, okay. You can take that out, you can take that out, and hopefully we don't miss. I don't like the look of those weapons. Easy a hacking job. Oh dear, they've got quite a lot. And it's all down. Which is good. Also, a bit of a glitch there. It's showing multiple weapons on top of each other. They only have three. Okay, we're in the clear. I would, I would still like that quadruple laser, though. Quadruple lasers are always good. And we get 40 metal for that. That's pretty good. So what did we get? That's, uh, 2, 2, 1, 3. So, maximum is 8, so right now we have 8. Um, Quadruple laser was three, I think. I might replace a double laser for that. I don't know. Oh, here's Odd Slot, the crater. Meanwhile, uh, let's, uh... Let's 
go this way. Nice, it didn't actually work. Let's go see what's uh, in the chat of uh, this game. Contact. Peace is the best uh, solution. Yeah. Okay. They've got quite a bit of a nonsense going on. Oh no, I meant to... Crud. Button management. How, how do? Here's the stop hacking button. Yeah, it's like, uh, we interrupt your regular cosmos to find you a first-person shooter out of nowhere. Anyway, uh, yeah. Haven't played this game much, but, uh, Creator and I of this game get along decently well. I really do love the game. Anyway. Uh, right now, we're just curb stomping everything. There isn't really much more to say. Other than, uh, we should repair that piloting. Meanwhile, uh, they've got quite a few shields. So, you take out the shields. You go for, uh, their main weapons, and I'll start hacking. Chat window's getting in my way. Oh, no. Oh, crud, we took a hit. Unfortunately, Odds is on the job. Hmm. Comeback laser. If your target has more hull than you, deal plus two hull. I don't know. Nah, it's not that good. Got a pretty good layout right now. The sniper laser is super good. Osprey's going to be good because missiles pierce all shields. Uh, let's not waste our missiles yet. Or no, uh, let's, we want this thing. Uh, there it be a shop. Let's just uh, repair as much as we can. Meanwhile, quadruple laser, yeah, it is three. That's expensive. I think we're good for weapons. The sniper laser really does just flesh everything out nicely. Oh dear, that's quite a lot. Hmm. 
By the way, uh, hacking was uh, initially my idea. Okay, we've got, we got our shields up. We should be able to survive. Next, a uh, sniper laser blast will uh, destroy them. It's taking out their specialized system. And uh, that sniper laser will destroy. S since there's more people, it'll take uh, longer to uh, do stuff. There's a bonus, like, uh, the game does have balancing for multiple people. Uh, repairing takes a little bit longer. You, it's like twice the speed, or 1.5 with two people, three times with one person, and just one X speed with uh, three or more. Stuff like that. Uh, I didn't hit continue. Nice. And uh, now with multiple people, it's a, a vote of sorts of what is uh, done. Let's actually get rid of their piloting. Yeah, these guys are doomed. Hey, welcome back, Burstein. All the Kappa emotes. Why, there's so many Kappa emotes. I'd say a foot, except it's a picture of a head. So, that, that was my attempt at a bad pun. Anyway, um, now let's see, what should we, uh, up next? We got decent shields. Mm. Yeah, it's not that useful. Honestly, engines are getting dodge chances good. So I might go with that. Oh dear that's quite a lot of weapons I hit the wrong button because camera issues hacking can be a bit of a pain And there he goes. I got four lasers. And now they're dead. And he's gone. Well, that was the creator of this game. We conclude this interview with explosions. No. Yeah, the creator of this game uh, and uh, his team are really good about like feedback with the community. With a uh, ship and weapon designs and stuff. Ooh, this is really good. You always want to gather some debris. Space! Space Core! You can get up to three. You can encounter this event up to three times. It's really good. Gives you a ton of stuff. Yeah, you're just uh, spewing out a bunch of emotes. Gasp! You've uncovered my secret plan. Steal other people's emote designs for when I get affiliate, which will be like 17 years. Of debt. You'll be paying back your debt for another 37 years. Uh, let's uh, get some engine nonsense going. Engines are good. Dodge chance. Okay, these guys aren't that powerful, actually. Uh, you can uh, go for med bay. Now you'll notice that these panels are getting larger for a hacking. <gasps> oh!
Oh shit! I'm so sorry, Bursting Boo. I completely forgot I had emote only mode on. I had it for my tourney match yesterday, and I completely forgot. Oh my god. I'm so sorry to everyone. Oh my god. That was... That's the second time that happened. Uh, I even wrote myself a note. It was like, emote only mode. And then I just completely forgot to look at it. <laughs> Good streaming, 101. Uh, meanwhile, uh, these guys, they have a specialized system. Let's take that out. Ah, oh, that's not good. Hopefully they don't do that again. Yep, th these guys are done for as soon as that sniper laser fires. Done like dinner, which is a stupid saying, it really is. What if your dinner is underdone? What if you ordered a what if you ordered a steak and you got your steak rare and not well done? Rare, medium, well done, or overdone? Personally I'll go for the overdone. Uh how much metal do we have? Ninety one. Venom is good, it really is, but it's just not good enough in my opinion. Let's go for an armory. Get that shield charge rate and repair speed up. Uh, meanwhile, not enough system power. Oh, it's broken. That's why. Not enough system power, my left foot. Only my left one, though, not my right foot. And they get, they have a lot of shields, but this guy pierces two layers of shields, so we're good. Preparation laser, what does this thing do? Uh, we can't find out. Uh, over shields about to charge up. And I haven't hit this guy once, excuse me. What's going on here? Sniper laser, why have you failed me? I thought the sniper laser couldn't miss. Well, evidently it, it can miss. I was lied to. Okay, these weapons are not that threatening. Our shields are handling it fine. Let's just get rid of these, uh, their shields. Actually, that's just gonna kill them, because eight? Eight layer. Speedrun 4 is actually a pretty good game. I, uh, tried learning the speedruns of it, and then gave up because I haven't really had the time to go back to it yet, which is why I'm playing this random Roblox game instead. Yeah, totally. I've got another game planned after this, uh, Flood Escape 2. It's a really good game. Attempt to contact them. <clears throat> and they have a pile of weapons. Um, I object. Objection! Objection, sir. Flood Escape is really good. Oh god, they've got missiles. They have missiles. Panic. Panic, need to finish this hacking, ASAP. Uh, this is bad. Okay. Let's overshield them immediately. Repair this. Get that double laser back. Repair this again. Oh god. Brace for impact! Brace for impact! Okay, we don't care about Venom. Uh, you can take something out, anything out.
That was a bit of a hairy situation. Bit of a hairy yama. Hairy yam. More power. More power to the starboard engines. Gotta love Star Trek. Yeah, see how much faster everything is repairing now with level 2 med bay? Level 3 med bay is even better. Uh, weapons we might want to upgrade, definitely. They've got a ton in that, however. Let's, uh... Um, hmm. Yeah, they only have one, one weapon, which is uh, not very strong. Their main power was in their, um, their dodging. And we'll uh, play Station Defender again. Oh, these guys are not very threatening. Generally, having a few super high st skills are better than having a bunch of super low ones. Oh god, they've got missiles. Their weapons are strong. Missiles uh, penetrate all shields. Fortunately, we can disable their, uh, their weapons. Support missile and a double crusher laser. Lock that missile with our overshield. Oh yeah, we've got two battles right here. Now there is allegedly music. Oh dear. This is going to be a devastating fight. Overshield that. Uh Um okay, we we took damage. Just barely overshielded in time. And, uh, we're, we're gonna take a lot of damage. Fortunately, that sniper laser will kill them. And then gives us 40 metal. We've got a lot of missiles, by the way. We're, we're definitely not going to need that many missiles. So, we might want to, uh, get the Osprey. Giving that some action. Because although we will use a lot of missiles, we won't use that many. Meanwhile, um... Huh. Let's increase that armory. Shield charge rate is super good. You take that out. Osprey, you go for that also. Let's put three into here. And let's uh let's not bother hacking this guy. Oh th crud. Well we lost the Osprey. Let's uh, repair that. Look how fast that's repairing now. And are they going to fire their weapon anytime soon? Yes? No? No? Nope. Oh, I, I accidentally did double laser. Oh well. Let's 
to get them sheared, sheared, piercing, piercing missiles. Yes, I can speak. There. So in the uh, public version of this game, the non-beta version, uh, there are three sectors. In this, they only have one sector. Uh, attack the pirate ship. Because pirates are bad. Because we're like, prejudiced against pirates. I mean, it's kind of in their name. Pirate. From the Latin... Uh, pie, meaning a tasty dessert. Uh, I don't know. I'm just making crap up at this point. Uh, let's, let's fire venom. Oh, dear, they've got... No, that was my missile. And yeah, that, that venom was completely wasted. That's okay. We don't need them. Continuing on our merry way, because, I mean, it is December. It could be merry. Mary was married merrily. Oh boy, puns. Th this is why I'm not a comedian. Instead, I'm a streamer who acts like he's a comedian. This guy's a complicated guy. Um, what am I gonna do here? Something like this. Overshield for safety. Four weapons. That's not fun. Fortunately, they're all pretty much down in for the count. Oh, they've got a sniper laser, too. Come on, overshield. Blocked that. We don't like sniper lasers around here, no sir. Hmm. What do I want to upgrade now? Possibly weapons twice? I don't know, let's... I've got, I've got some... You know what? Let's see what happens with our, uh... Let's up weapons once, and then see what happens. We can activate the agility laser. Pair this. Start hacking a little bit. Stop hacking, we need to uh, focus on attacking their something. Okay, they really don't have much. Uh, Osprey, you just go for that. You go for the specialized. Yeah, their offensive capabilities are quite moot. I mean, that doesn't mean they might not have a uh, missile. And they still got cannons, which we should probably take care of. Or they can just die. That works too. So, uh, the red dot on the map is the boss, obviously, and, uh, the boss is a very threatening. But basically for the boss, we're going to need a lot of shield-piercing firepower. Because we're going to need to take out their specialized system ASAP. Uh, that can focus on that. And, and we definitely are going to need to uh, hack the boss. But hacking the boss takes a long time. It's very difficult. So I might not be able to. Because they've got, like, 
a full thing. It's huge. But me and their boss, so of course, it's huge. Logic. And they're done. Like uh, New Mexico on steroids. I, I love making uh, memes and references that make absolutely no sense. Also, I should probably make my way down to that shop that I haven't been to. That could have a really good weapon. Scary looking plasma beam, oh no. Yeah, fun fact, uh, last time I played this actually, I found, I got such a lucky weapon set up that in about, uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was crazy. I was killing everything in pretty much two seconds. Literally two seconds. Because I had, it was crazy. Um, this is in a fight. Because I had uh, two weapons that charge up for two seconds and then don't... Or, yeah, like, take two seconds to charge, but take 15 seconds to, like... But then no weapons fire for 15 seconds. So they were... And it was, like, five projectiles at once or something like that, or ten. I think it might have been ten. It was a crazy amount of projectiles. And then I had a few other things that just boosted the efficiency of those weapons. And it was extremely overpowered. Broke several records that day. Uh, that, that weapon has since been heavily nerfed. <laughs> I wonder why. Generally, the uh, main uh, thing you want to attack is weapons. Uh, in this version, it's less so that it's weapons you want to attack, but still is. However, there's still a bunch more stuff that you... Uh... But in the uh, old version, it's basically just attack weapons and you win. It was pretty, pretty unfortunate. Meanwhile, let's save my metal and make my way down to that uh, shop. You have a lot of fuel, by the way. You can run out of fuel. However, in this particular version, uh, that's never going to happen, essentially. Okay, that's a lot of lasers. I don't like lots of lasers. Okay, they don't have, uh, much in terms of firepower. Also, this agility laser is not doing much. Oh, what weapon do we have? Do we have something lucky? The next weapon that we fire, which costs two or less, has plus two projectiles, costs two missiles to fire. Interesting. I've never seen this weapon before. Except that thing itself costs two weapon, two things to fire, and... Oh, so that would basically mean I could get rid of the, uh... Hmm. That's a difficult decision. But if you ask me, it's not worth it. Now, what is worth it usually are cores. Uh, there are a few, uh, there are four cores, which are portal references in all likelihood, but basically you, uh, 
Yeah, I've got shield piercing. You're not gonna do much. Okay! He has missiles. Um, this is a bit of an issue. We need something to take that thing out ASAP. Everything focus on them weapons. Okay, his weapons are out. Fortunately, half are, so are half of mine. Also, my sniper laser has been missing. What's going on? haven't been uh, spending money. I'm going to need to have a big repair job when we're done. Yeah, they just have a, a rapier, which is a pretty good weapon. It really is. Yeesh. That, uh, that did not go well. Just need to get through one more battle and then we are at our shop. Ah, uh, deny the request. And we battle. Okay, they've got a specialized system. I don't like specialized system. Kill the specialized system. Oh dear, this is a pile of... Block that. Okay, we lost some med bay, that's fine. They've got a rapier. Let's block that. With their overshield, the only thing that can block missiles. Okay, and they're done. Okay, shop, save me. I'm gonna need a lot of uh, metal to repair. Like, what, 30, um... 40, 48, I think. Yeah, it should be 48. Don't know why it took me that long to figure it out. Uh, striker missile. Next to two attacks have... Okay, yeah, that's trash. Shell missile. Gain two over shield layers for six seconds. That's good. Jackhammer. And it's 10% off. I might get that. Hmm. Hmm. Or this jackhammer laser, which is extremely long, and that's... No, that's not... We don't want any of that. How much did it cost again? Like, four layers or something? Right now, it was like, it cost two. I'd have to get rid of, like, in all likelihood, the double laser. And then put more into, uh, hmm. But having overshield layers are really good. But that's... It had a long cooldown. And for, pretty much for the entire battle, our uh, things are going to be... Uh, on autopilot, autofire, so we really don't need that, I guess. Just put... 
everything into everything. Oh my god, that's a lot of lasers. Holy crap. Um, okay. This is not good. We're losing shield layers. We're losing shields. Why why is this sniper laser not what's Okay, took out a bunch of his weapons. Just hack faster. That was a hairy fight. So there isn't much m music, and I don't know why. There is music in this game. Or at least there's boss battle music. I guess the music is... I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, either way, um... Let's go repair that damage. And uh, repair all of our broken systems, because we've got quite a few. There's a shop here. Get in there. I, I just like the bluntness of it. That does a lot of hull damage. It's going to be expensive to fire. How long does my Osprey take? 14 seconds. Only 3 seconds, but... Nah. We'll not, we'll not go, we'll go with this, uh, setup. The sniper laser definitely, uh, holds the setup together. It's extremely powerful. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, Venom. Er, what, what do I want? Piloting and engines. Let's take some out of Venom, out of Med Bay. Because Venom specialized systems can be really good, but in this sort of situation, not so much. Well, isn't this one extremely tall? Double pinpoint laser. I see. Yeah, this agility laser is doing essentially nothing right now. It was a complete waste to, uh, upgrade that. A bit more in the reactor. Hey, one, welcome to the stream. Yes, shenanigans. Galoshes. Bulbius Buffon. Ah, uh, well, this thing has already got a bunch done. And its weapons are disabled. Good. Oh dear, it's got a mega nuke. Thank god I disabled that. 
Mega Nuke is quite powerful. It's a very strong missile. Only a few more, uh... Oh, cool. Still functioning weapon. Uh, what's left? Sh what do we have? Shock laser. 11 seconds. It's essentially the agility laser. Except... Not with the... I mean, there is the increased dodge chance. It's not that bad. Yes, we are in space! And there's a space core. Because we're in space! This is essentially a faster than light style adventure. It's uh, pretty good. Let's uh, try this again. We'll go here. Yeah, Space Core from Portal 2, you know. Space. Uh, this is the uh, private beta, like, testing version. The public version is uh, completely different. Well, not completely different. It just has a lot of changes. They have a lot of weapons. We do not appreciate a lot of weapons around here. Uh, what am I doing here? This. shock laser. So, remember that shock laser? This is a quintuple shock laser. And it's probably going to completely wreck me if it doesn't die, which it just did. So, we're good. Crisis averted. So, what are we going to upgrade next? Assuming we can get on without taking a lot of damage. We've got max med bay. We got, I mean, it's either sh hmm. Attempt to contact them. Uh, agree to help. So now, uh, this is a, a quest, the only quest. Uh, if we go to that yellow thing, we'll fight a ship. And we can get a cool weapon, and I don't actually know what we get. It might be random, it might be a fixed thing, it's probably a fixed thing, but I don't know what. So, uh, we're going to go there and hopefully get something good, like a core. A smoldering core would be good. Uh, meanwhile, what are we going to upgrade? Dodge chance is okay. Shields are important, but... Hmm. I might go for weapons. This is kind of like a mini-boss battle of sorts. Fortunately, I've got some... Strong... Th piercing things. Okay, you need to attack... Shields. Oh, dear... Uh, let's not hack. That'll take too much time. You just need to see what's going on and overshield accordingly. Fortunately, we've got high shields. Yeah, well, we're, this, uh, this is going great. This is probably what's going to happen for the, the real boss battle, kind of. Although, I, yeah, I definitely want another weapon. Probably more missiles. Maybe, I don't know. There was a quintuple laser at a shop somewhere. Let's see what we get from this.
OEN Tracer Laser. The next weapon you fire is 100% accuracy. Well, we already have one laser that never misses. So, that really isn't that good. That really isn't that good. Unless I combine it in conjunction with, like, quintuple laser. I don't know. Yeah, no. That's not that good. Let's go see what's in these shops again. Because uh, the boss, let's describe the boss. So it's going to have a specialized system. We need to destroy that specialized system because uh, that specialized system if uh, can absolutely destroy us. There's going to be a warp core. And uh, if it blows up the warp core, we die instantly. Uh, there was, there was a missile here. Tracer missile there. Hmm, yeah, no, that missile is not that good. Additionally, it's going to have two extremely powerful, uh, missiles. Well, a missile weapon that fires two extremely powerful missiles that basically break your entire ship. They do, like, ten damage, like, five damage each, and do, like two system damage to every system. They are extremely powerful. You need to overshield those. Which means you can't waste it on regular old lasers. It's an extremely threatening fight. We're probably going to die. Fortunately, uh, if I can get this quintuple laser and, I don't know, do something else... <clears throat> Um, triple scatter laser. Target systems chosen randomly, though. That's not very good. We don't. There weren't any piercing weapons for sale, unfortunately. I mean, missiles pierce shields, but... Hmm. Yeah, quadruple laser. Unfortunately, that costs three. We can instantly charge up weapon one, which is our, uh, Osbury, which is our missiles. That's not bad, but, I mean, that's not that good of a weapon. I kind of want that quadruple laser. Which means I would need to up except to activate it, I would need to upgrade my weapons twice. I don't think I have the metal to... Enough, I'll be able to get enough metal to do that. We'll just remember that it cost 65. Meanwhile, let's uh, up our weapons. We need 90 more metal plus 65. 90 plus 65 is 155, minus 38 is 117 more metal. Oh yeah, we, we got this. Yeah, we definitely got this. Mental math with the Cavan 856. Oh, and we got this. Okay, this is 40 right here. Let's get our second space core. Nope, 29. Well, it's still good. Free 29 metal. We got two space cores. You can get that event up to three times. Under attack by pirate, eh? Nearby planet shaped like a giant H. They've got a lot of dodge. I don't like dodge. Fortunately, I've got a missile, a weapon that never misses. And my shields should be fine. I won't take any damage here. They would need to concentrate their fire pretty well in order to take me out here. Uh... Yeah, they only have a support bolt. I mean, they do got a cannon. 
but they're dead. So let's uh, get that uh, last weapon slot up and active. You can take one away from uh, this and yeah, but we're good. We can definitely get that quadruple laser. And these guys are essentially dead. I'm not even going to bother hacking them. Weapons are down. Support laser will take out some of th uh, some of that. It's going to take that out, and the next thing to fire will finish them. And that's it's the osprey and it misses with both shots, which. I mean, could happen, but didn't. Okay, crisis averted. Not that it was a crisis in the first place, but it was averted. It was inverted. It was reverted. It was converted. It was. It was. It was. Uh, it, it was version 9.8. I don't know. I was like, 9.81 meters per second squared, you know, the acceleration constant of gravity on Earth. Gravitational constant of... Anyway. Um, only three more uh, fights. Hopefully we'll get enough uh, metal to get our quadruple laser and uh, fire... Well, we got this a third time. Sweet. Three space cores. 21 metal. Pity. Could have been so much more. So I need 14 more metal, so one battle, essentially. And, uh... Hmm. And then after this, uh, win or lose, we're going to go to Flood Escape 2. Okay, we got our we got our battle here. They've got they've got some stuff. That's all I can really say. They've got some stuff. Have you noticed that the hacking is getting a lot more convoluted? Uh Okay, they've got a lot of lasers. Caution, lasers. It's got to be like that. It's got to be like that. Like that. Quadruple laser. Hey, it's the thing I want to buy. They're just copying my style. Okay, we just need the Osprey to hit once, and we're good. They also have a shell laser. But that shell laser certainly didn't protect them. There was no protect. There was only attack. Pirate ship waits at the beacon. It spotted you. And there's no going back. Oh dear. That's a lot of weaponry. It's a lot of weaponry you got there, bub. Bub the tuna. Bub the goldfish. Bubsy 3D. The adventure home. How can we overshield that? Ah, oh, darn, I missed. It's like one thing. Quadruple laser and a double payload bolt. Well, they're not gonna have much payload. And overshield just for kicks. Okay, now let's, uh, let's go to the shop. Let's buy that uh, quadruple laser. 
We don't need to repair our hull, thankfully. Only systems took damage in that battle, not our hull. I mean, alternatively, you could go with a double laser. Like, I could just activate my... Now I'm conflicted, because it's like, I could activate my double laser and my agility laser. That's three projectiles for 12 seconds. As opposed to four projectiles in, what, 18? Honestly, I see no reason to not activate these, aside from the fact that I don't have system power. Like, what, I need, like, two more reactor power? Let's just spend all our money on reactor power. Let's just do this. That works. Okay, let's uh, get ready. Hold on to your horses. We're going to the boss. The boss is extremely threatening. I will not be hacking it because, uh, A, the hacking will take up the entire screen, so I won't be able to see what's coming. B, it just takes too long. So I just need to keep an eye out for everything. So here's what's going to happen. Double laser and agility laser are going to go straight for the, uh, shields. We just need to take some shields out. Osprey is going to go for its weapons. Sniper laser is going to take out its warp core. We need to get that warp core out of here. Actually, Osprey should probably also go for the warp core. They both should. We've got we've got three layers of shields. Anyway, prepare for epic cutscene and epic music. Probably shouldn't have said that, because that would be spoilers. Now you're like, ah, epic cutscene to music? I already knew about that. Okay, gotta go. Uh, missiles. Okay, you focus on the shields. Missile on that. Focus on the shields. Uh, where's my overshield? We need to take out that specialized system ASAP. Okay. We lost Venom. That's fine. Uh, why, why are... Why did Sniper Laser not work? It must have overshielded. Okay, there's its World Breaker missiles. We need to block those, otherwise you're dead. Uh, come on, we need to take out something. Anything. Osprey, go for that. Okay, we got its specialized system out. Broken, kind of. We need to get rid of those shields, otherwise my sniper laser can't live. Uh, okay, our shields are broken. We need to repair those ASAP. Oh god, shield breaker. Overshield, overshield, that was close. Repair all the systems. Repair this. Venom would be good around about now. Oh god, the warp core is almost down. Uh, you need to go for that. We've got some shields down. Just need to... Oh god, there go our med bay. Okay, the specialized system is down. Oh god, I saw the shield breakers. Ah, uh, shields are up. Shields, shields are high. Fortunately, okay, that worked. Uh, what's Osprey gonna do? Gonna take up more of that. And that's back, and there goes shield breaker missiles. 
Um, this is going to be cutting it close. Okay, just need that sniper laser to fire. Oh my god, we won. With like, almost no core left. If that had reached a zero, we would have lost. So let's go over the final stats. Uh, the creator of this game is a bot that sends the stats to the uh, Discord. Uh, final warp core HP, 1%. If that had reached zero, we would have lost. I did not have very good weapons, for the record. There just weren't very good weapons available. The sniper laser carried me. So yeah, this this fight is kind of intense. Anyway, there's no more game after this. So let's go to a Flood Escape 2. Uh, there's th that's uh, the first sector. There are three sectors in the uh, public version. That's uh, being completely redone. That was the beta testing version. Um, anyway, let's go to Floodscape 2, which I really enjoy. I love this game. Let's just go over the stats. So, uh... Damage taken 8, time taken 2 minutes, 13 seconds, final warp core HP 1%. Now I actually got a really OP setup one time, that, and I was the only person that actually survived, did it in under a minute. I believe uh, there have been more sub minute kills, but I'm still only the first person that's actually managed to do it, or found it, find a setup that survived with over 50% warp core HP, I actually had like 70%. But as you can see, that's extremely uncommon. Most have less than 10%. That was 1% left. Anyway. Flood Escape 2. This game is fun. Also kind of loud. Also, these people are kind of bad at this game. Let's do a, a few, few of these and then we'll lock the difficulty to insane. Or I can just, uh, why are so- three people just died on an easy difficulty map. This is the second easiest map in the game. Wow. Okay, let's, uh, I'm gonna try and find a server with a few people in, actually, because the fewer people in a server is the better. Because, yeah, you, you just- the difficulty of the maps is based on your skill level as opposed to other people's. Basically, in this game, hit buttons to open doors and make platforms and ladders and stuff appear, so that you can hit more buttons to not die from the impending flood. Shortcut on this map here. And then a shortcut back. This is the, uh... Hardest of the three easy maps, but it's an easy map, so it's extremely non-threatening. I say it's almost fell that jump. So there's three easy maps, three normal maps, three hard maps, and three in- or no. Three easy, then six normal, hard, and insane maps. The insane maps are pretty insane. I can do- I can solo any map except a Dark Psy Facility, the very hardest insane map, the hardest map in the game, which I've yet to beat. Simply because, literally, you have to be almost frame-perfect in that map. Anyway, here's a green water, aka acid. Yeah, these people are really bad at this. So let's find a server with less people. Because generally, smaller servers have better people, I just find. Castle Tides is the easiest map, in my opinion. And nobody's even going for this button. Okay, that person is. I'll go for this button. I'm 
shortcut you can do there. You can't do that in solo though because you need somebody to hit the other button first. Okay, that, they're gonna hit that. I'll hit this button. And then survival is right in front of us. So water deals a short amount of damage over time, like this. Acid deals considerably more damage. Also, I need to unplug my controller. Er... Crud. So the reason I died there is because I had my controller plugged in, and this game set the controls to the controller instead of keyboard, so I couldn't actually swim up. Which is dumb. Normally I would not have died there. Anyway, so, uh, water? It was! It was the controller! You see, you saw, like, button A, button Y, etc. Instead of, uh, shift and spacebar. Once I join another server, you'll see. Anyway, uh, let's, uh, set the, uh... Swim up keys, like, okay, emote is normally E. Press A button, presses E. Pre okay, swim up key, uh, leave it space. Dive key is normally left shift, and the emote key is normally E, I believe. Because I don't know what controller buttons it is. I never use a controller for Roblox. And right now I'm scrolling through the large list of servers looking for a server with extremely small amounts of people. Ideally, one. Actually, I'm about to uh, find a server. Here's the smallest server. Open. Two people in it. Hopefully, they are skilled. Skilled. Eh, they're on hard maps, so they're decent. Couldn't spectate them. Nice. Don't know why I couldn't spectate them. Yeah, those are the defaults. Eh, they died on a hard map. They're okay. I mean, then again, mistakes do happen sometimes. I probably know exactly where they died. Here on Graveyard Cliffside. And that rhymed. That was an unintentional rhyme. I'm a sinner for making it rhyme. And they died too. Okay, these people are just bad. Sky Sanctuary. A simple, normal map, but extremely unforgiving. Generally, if you fall on this map, you're dead. Because it's acid, and the only really way up is that ladder there. Uh, you're not going to fall if you survive if you fall here because acid eats away your health pretty fast and so there's water that turns into acid and then there's lava lava is an instant kill if you fall into lava you're dead there is no survival and we hear the acid is rising that's okay did they both die Come on, that guy's level 30. He's supposed to be good at this game. Infiltration is... not one of my favorite maps. It's... kind of on the trickier side for a normal map. I just don't like this map. This is honestly a game about teamwork. I mainly don't like this map because of that shaft there. I really hate climbing it. We're gonna hit that button. That opens this door. Here's some acid. Yep, that, that sure is some acid. That's really all I can say. Uh, the solo, uh, soloing this map is kind of tricky. You definitely, uh, can't waste much time. But then again, it's not a very threatening map. It's, so, normal maps and easy maps and 
even if some hard maps are pretty forgiving. Crystal Caverns. This one is not one of those forgiving maps. Pretty much need to do this shortcut in solo mode to hit that button. Hopefully that person hits that button. Doesn't die and fall. And they fell nice. So anyway, there's an air tank that's on a few maps. Gives you extra air. So now I have 400 total instead of... Uh, 100. So the air tank gives you a bunch of extra air, however, you do not regenerate this air. You do regenerate your normal air meter, but not air from an air tank. This is Mega Man X5 music? I wouldn't know. I've never played Mega Man X5. Why not Mega Man X5 music? Oh, the pixel joined. They're a really good player. That I ran into a few days ago. Okay, and they're going to go for that button. Opens up this. I yeah, see there I ran out of my air tank. Yeah, I don't need to tell them I'm live streaming, that's just tacky. It's like, hey, I'm live streaming, come watch me, except okay, here's an insane map. Insane, this is the easiest insane map. Insane maps are extremely difficult. This one, however, not so much, because it's the easiest. Major shortcut we can do here. Okay, Pixel's going to go for that. There's a button here. And that opens up that button there, which opens up this door right here. Sometimes fast climbing ladders doesn't work. That one in particular is a bit iffy. Small shortcut we can do here. Oh, and Pixel died. Rip. And these people are handling this part well. Well enough, at least. Anyway, a lot of people have to survive for it to remain on insane. Lava Tower is uh, one of the easier and hard maps. Personally, not one of my favorite. Also, I misspelled live streaming. Also, I fell there. This is a very vertical map, so camera can be a bit awful. Shortcut you can do here. Oh dear, that that was bad. <laughs> Live streaming. <laughs> One, you should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> nah. Okay, this is arguably the easiest hard map. I mean, it destroyed me the first time I played this, but it's a very forgiving map. And this is actually the only map in which there's actually a skip. You can skip the very first but or the very last button on this map, and just go straight to the goal. Saves a little bit of time. Oh yeah, the, these are. This is even a difficult map. This is just a hard map and the easiest hard map. Hey, total glitch, and welcome to the stream. Now it's acid, so don't fall, although you can, you just don't want to spend much time there. 
You wait until we get to, uh, like, Sinking Ship, or Dark Psy Facility, or even just Lost Desert. So here's the shortcut. By the way, if I had fallen there, I would have died, because that's lava and that's instant death. So you can just skip that last button. Just emote around, sitting down. And they all die, because they're bad. Flood Island, one of my favorite maps. And arguably the hardest of the uh, normal maps. don't have that much time in a solo setting, but every map is soloable. You can do every map by yourself without needing anyone else. It's just, obviously, other people make it easier. Uh, they're gonna, there's a shortcut you can do that I just can't do, but I don't need it. It's a bit tricky. They just did it. Lava in a snowbound land. In a snowbound land. And right here it's lava. And, uh... Yeah, see right there? It's starting to creep up on you. You don't have much time on this map. But still an easy map. Uh, they're dead. Oh, I really don't like this map. Cave system is not... The f eh. It's not an overly forgiving map. Let's minimize this chat. You have to go down here. There are a few maps like this which force swimming. We already saw one, Crystal Caves, a hard map. Cave System also requires us force swimming. So does Autumn Hideaway and like another map that I can't think of. Uh, abandoned Facility. The floor is lava. The ceiling is gravy. I'm essentially already soloing this map. And anyway, you'll see there that uh, water turned into acid. So, uh, you would not have been able to swim out and live if you had waited too long in that section. I'll hit that button. Now uh, be careful here. Go in the boxes. That floor will fall away. This jump is actually kind of tricky. But not tricky enough for me. Let's just sit around. And they died. Hey, back to Flood Island. There's actually uh, two types of lava. There's the, uh, water lava, and then there's the lava which is, like, just a texture and you can't really swim in. And it's weird. Um, you can have some gravy if you cook it yourself. Internet gravy. Music in this level is one of the main reasons why I like this uh, particular stage. Music is pretty rockin'. Rockin', yes, yeah, so that's a that's an adjective that I uh, use regularly. Rude. Why I never. Okay, this is the hardest hard map. There's not much time if you solo this. And they died. Rip.
Also, the music in this map is quite loud. Yeah, you've got a bunch of ass that you have to swim in. Okay, they've got that, so I'll go for this one. Gotta regenerate your health. I can actually stand on this thing. Technically, I should be swimming, but it's just barely inside the range. Yeah, this map is quite tight if you're going to do it solo. You don't have much room for failure. Uh, the trees might be made from sponge. Uh, acid is about to... Yeah, it's rising now. Fortunately, uh, the ending... You have a bunch more time for the ending of this map. Just don't fall. A fall here is essentially lethal. Especially this part here. This part is tricky. Is he going to make it? Nope. Decrepit Seas. This is one of the easiest, uh, easiest normal maps. Tough luck with Pixel. Hey look, it's Amazing Ash, aka not Amazing Ampharos. AKA referencing uh, Zelda speedrunners, oh boy. I don't know, ignore me. I'm just being a meme. Here is just a rock wall that tumbled. And now it's gone. Hitting this button is actually quite irritating. Oh yeah, I've, I've mastered pretty much every map except Darkseid Facility, which is awful. Darkseid Facility is awful. Okay, did the other two people leave? One of them left. Autumn Hideaway. This one... It's interesting. It's possibly the easiest hard map. It's one of the easier hard maps. Uh, if you want to solo this, make sure you get this air tank, because you will not survive without this air tank. Because there's a switch underneath that water and that waterfall, except uh, that, yeah, it, it's about to turn to acid any second now. So you will be swimming through a large portion of acid to hit that switch. And anyway, be quick here, because this bridge will crumble away. And then hitting that switch makes that bridge crumble away. And here I'm just gonna I'm just gonna have some fun on top of a fence. And okay, we're gonna have an insane map because everyone survived this map. Hopefully it's not Dark Sci Facility. Sinking ship. This one is extremely tough. The second hardest map. So I'm actually going to need focus. You need to do that shortcut, essentially. Nobody hit this switch. Big shortcut right here. Hopefully I can get it. Okay, I did. Huge shortcut. Saves a ton of time. <clears throat> yeah, 
Yeah, the music gets a little intense. Okay, Pixel's got that switch. Or not. <clears throat> yeah, well, lava's creeping up fast. Oh, the stream? I don't know how to fix that. I mean, it's normally fine for everyone else. Sorry if the stream is lagging, total glitch. I don't have the ability to lower my stream settings, like my stream quality settings, because Twitch is dumb. I haven't earned that right to stream at a lower quality, or a lower bitrate or something. Also, I just died, in an extremely dumb way. Well, I'm going to uh, be right back. I'm going to take a short five minute break, and then we'll do more of this, because this game is fun. Hello, I am back. Yeah, this music has great... This game has great music. And this person is bad at this game. Uh, you can still stream a lower bit, right? Transcode music. I mean, I, I, I guess. I don't know. I might take a look at it later. I don't know. And we have some uh, idiots being idiots in the chat.
Yeah, easy map. What can I say? Uh, I am playing Roblox. So, uh, uh, the music is in the game. It's not any playlist I'm playing. So, uh, I'll only play this game for like another, but 20 minutes, maybe. So, uh, you guys get to decide what I play afterwards. Your choices are, uh, I can, uh, finish Donkey Kong Country 2. Or I can uh, do Mario Party 3 shenanigans. Place your votes now. And then there's a possibility that they'll just be ignored anyway. Uh, your options are... Finish Donkey Kong Country 2 because I did like the only the first world like two weeks ago and then nothing more or Mario Party 3. I did a little bit of uh, dual modes uh, last night just because I wanted to but uh, I have not played much of Mario Party 3 as in Donkey Kong Country 2? Okay, we have a vote for that. Do we have a vote for anything else? The music in this map is so loud. Uh, Flood Runner 2. Total glitch, this is Flood Runner 2. Not to be confused with Flood Runner 3, which doesn't exist, and Flood Runner 1, which doesn't exist. Uh, no. Flood Runner 1 does in fact exist. Just like those red coins. We've got two votes for Don Kong. Apparently we don't have many Mario Party fans in the audience. Very well then. Okay, I'm dead. Maybe. Okay, I might be able to make it back. I don't know, I don't have much time. Oh yeah, I've got this. And back to Lava Tower. Come on, I want to do some insane maps, and I don't want to lock it to insane waste my hard-earned gems, which are premium currency. I hate premium currencies. Only get those, because you get five gems every time you level up. However, the more times you level up, the uh, less, uh, the more experience it takes, so the less you'll, gems you'll get, so yeah. And did everyone else die? I think everyone else died in a fire. No pixel is still alive. Yeah, I'm sorry, Total Glitch. I can't really do much about the lag. Try lowering... No, you can't lower... Yeah, I don't really... Nothing really I can do. I mean, I could maybe stop and restart the stream? I'm not really quite sure how bitrate options work anyway. To be honest, I didn't uh, set up this, uh, these stream settings myself. Also, that was an extremely stupid failure. Uh, I just had uh, got step-by-step -step instructions by uh, somebody else on how to set it up, but just before I ever streamed my first stream. 
which, for the record, uh, trivia question. What was the first thing I ever streamed? If you get it right, you will win absolutely nothing. Because nobody will get it right. Yeah, I, I guess I can... I'll, I'll try and lower the bitrate in OBS, then. Or something. Yeah, I ha I'd have to stop streaming to do that. Okay, I'm gonna stop streaming, lower the bitrate, and then try again. <laughs> 